Now let's talk about setting up sensors. So first I am going to create uh, a character AI that's uh, neutral. So I'm going to go ahead and model browser go to characters woman and insert a woman model in here. Um, again you can double click and set the skins to a variety of models. So going into properties I'm going to go back to fields and I'm going to set up a few things here. Uh, Check-in, conflict side set to neutral, alarm level set to calm. Select the model, go to type, set up a waypoint. And with my model selected, now it should be parented. And yes it is. What I want to do is I want this neutral AI just to walk from here to the waypoint. Motion type to move. Speed, uh, I want it to walk. Scrolling down, um, that's all I want. I don't need any behaviors or actions for this. So let's set up a sensor. Go to type and go down to sensors. By going to the browsing class, you can select box or cylinder. So I'm going to select the cylinder add new object to my map, insert it here. Now I have the sensor set up, the waypoint and our neutral model and okay so now what I want it to happen is when the player, us, walks into the sensor I want this model to not be in view and when the player enters the sensor which is invisible in game this model will appear now, double click and go into the sensors box. First you need to parent it. And you need to parent it to the model. Woman or one. Now you don't have to parent the sensor to the model. Uh, it's completely optional. Unless you want the sensor to move with the AI, with the model. Now under enter and leave, this is where you will define the specific actions. First make sure that C side is set to player then on enter double click and set a new action. You can set up a variety of actions to have your sensor activate. In our case um, what I want to happen is under action appear. On the target I'm gonna set up my model what I want to appear. So I'm gonna set attribute to target woman and then under type make sure that it's set to appear and on leave I want to set up another action and it's the same action appear uh, but instead of C type I want it to disappear and under C target I want to set attribute to the same model. Also if you set up any other actions you can have different conditions to happen in order for them to uh, to complete. Now uh, let's jump in game and what we should happen to see is first we don't see anything and when we walk into this invisible sensor, we should uh, we should be able to see our model appear in view, and when we leave the circle, we should uh, be able to see it disappear. So now we are walking; we don't see anything, and now we walk right into our sensor, and she disappears, and then she appears when we walk into it. So this is how you set up sensors, and they're extremely, extremely powerful. Now you have uh, an idea of how to use them, and you can set set them up for uh, start objectives. Um, you can set them up for uh, starting movies, starting dialogues, activating specific actions. Now that you understand how to use sensors, let's take uh, let's take it a step further and create uh, what is known as an action chain. You can do so by going up to type and creating an action chain and clicking on add new objects. What an action chain does it allows you to create a list of actions that happen one after another. Then you're able to use this action chain to generate a bunch of actions in a row uh, by applying it to um, a model, to a sensor, uh, any of those. So let me show you how to properly use it. Let's say what I want to happen is when a player enters into this sensor, I want it to activate an action chain. In this action chain, I want a list of actions to happen, one after another. Get to uh, an action chain in your object selection menu. Just go up to object selection and select action action chain. To set up action chains, it's, just, it, it's very simple. You set up uh, a single action by double clicking and you set up one action after another. First, let me let me uh, double click and on the sensor and I want when the player enters into the sensor I want to 
activate a chain of action. So double click on enter, insert a second item, and under null, scroll down and select action run. Action run allows you to run action chain. Here is where you would input your action chain. So go back to your object list, select chain, action chain, right click and set attributes. Now go to your action chain and now let's set up a few commands. So what I want to happen is when a player enters this, we see this um, we see this model show up and she'll start walking towards our uh, waypoint. Then I want my action chain to wait five seconds and then I want to show another model. So what we're going to see is we're going to see we're going to walk in. We're going to see her appear, start walking, and then five seconds later we're going to see another model appear right in here. So go back, select another model, and insert it right in here. I'm going to change her skin to Marissa. Now we can see she's standing here. I'm not going to do any waypoints. I just want her to appear and just stand there. Uh, let's go back to our action chain and let's select uh, first. Um, insert action wait so what action wait does it uh, allows me to set a delay for something so five seconds and then I want to insert another action appear and I want to on target I want to have this model show up and I want to see type to appear so again if I want to create a list of chains that go down the line and uh, get activated one after another this is where it, where it happens so let's uh, let's jump in game and see what happens so as we are walking up to our sensor it gets activated and we should be able to see our Marissa show up in just a few seconds yep and there she is and if I leave she should stay right there she shouldn't disappear that's because we never set up an action chain for her to disappear. We only set it up for her to appear. So that's how you set up an action chain. And they're extremely powerful and they're used very often in uh, Co2. So spend a few moments and really get into action chains because they're extremely powerful.